What do you mean? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Oh, my day is very hard. <laughs> when, when, how all Wednesday. Yes, and, and you are not like here. Here, after each quarter, they have a week off. So a they week, finish, uh, a week they off, finish yeah. yes, all, all the students and the uh. teachers. Uh, they finish the, the quarter and then they have a week off. The, the quarter. Uh, Trimestre. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, each quarter, how uh, they have a. They have a, a week off. Okay. okay. Una, sema una semana que no van. Okay. Mm -hmm. And It's... they finish. They finish in November, the last day of November and started classes until March after the after they have a kind of festival here like carnival then they started classes after carnivals mm -hmm. which is 40 days 40 days before 40 days before um uh, uh, <laughs> Eastern. Here we have class since uh, February. January, no, no, no January, 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 the second, the second week of January. Yes, and and, and finish mm. also in November. Sometimes in December. Exactly. <laughs> I remember I worked there and I was a, a teacher in public school. It was not as when, how old are you? Because when I study, when I was six years old, I studied in 1972. We had three months off from school at the end of the school. I remember we finished in October and we started in February. Hi, Mr. Rafael Dabu. Hi, good evening. How was your day? It was good. Good. I'm so tired. But I'm ready to the class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I know it's a, an extra effort, but it it is good because you are uh, improving yourself. Yes. Okay. It, yes. That's I I really uh, admire you because uh, all of you want to improve, want to to have a, a better opportunities, better life. It, in right. my case, I actually learned English at first because I wanted uh, to communicate with more people around the world. Mm -hmm. I know that, that it, it, it is our actual lingua franca. Lingua? Uh, in lingua franca. What is that? Uh, the language that every other people in the world learn in order to communicate with others. Uh, okay, okay. Uh 
y medioevo uh -huh. eh, it, it was French Ajá, okay. but now it is it is English okay okay if you remember uh, the the royalty uh, talk to each other in French for them uh -huh. English was uh, the language for the population mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yes. not and not everybody in Europe uh, speak English no. each of them speak their their own languages uh, the Germanics the French Italian, Italian. Portuguese yeah. uh, Russian Russian, okay, but all of them speak French. It was a language uh -huh. for royalty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they had just four, four, four of us. <laughs> and it's already nine, four. Well, we will start with the listening that we missed yesterday. Okay. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. <laughs> Two. Rich. So how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of... it stops suddenly but there is more than one way to skin listen to three people talk to a cat rich so how did you enjoy your cooking course it was great what kinds of things did you learn to cook well it was a course on vegetarian cooking i didn't know you were a vegetarian oh i'm not but a lot of people are these days so I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. 
great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay. Now. Uh, what else did you get from each of the listening exercises? Do you want to listen them again? Yes or no? Do you want to listen them again? I want to. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Listen. <laughs> Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait. Why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Okay. What other things you can learn in the course of African Samba? Do you want to listen again? Hello? Yes, please. Okay, but pay attention. So Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Okay. What other things you can learn other than just dance? We can get more confident. To be more confident, what else? And to interact with other people. And he made the joke that with all that dancing, he will be too exhausted to interact with other people. <laughs> okay, now let's continue listening. Remember that you have to figure it out what other things you can learn other than just what we have here. Two, Rich. So how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not, but a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm, well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Do you want to listen again? Yes. Or, or you understand what other things? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. 
but a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Okay. What else did they learn? The health value of different kinds of vegetables. And what else? How to prepare them in order to uh, keep their their uh, vitamins, okay? Their nutrition values. Now, next one. Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay. What else uh, did you learn? How to run a small business and? Investing money. How to, how to invest money. and how to manage money, okay? He asked her for help. Now, let's see. We are here, listening exercise, we already finished. Twenty-five of twenty-five, we are good. Now, the lesson objective. Okay, this was the listening exercise. When I send you the PPT, you can listen to the, to the audio there. In every listening exercise, I put the audio here. You have to click on it in order to listen to it. You can do it. Yes. Here. And it works? Yes. Okay. It was nice. Work. nice. Then it works the effort. <laughs> now, listen, objective. In this class, you will listen to how people give some advice. You will see by plus gerund in context. It says, maybe I should try that. Now, uh, I will read this for you first, and then we will, uh, you, you will repeat after me when I tell you, but first just follow the reading. Okay. So how's your French, French class going? Not bad. But I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how 
do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my bedroom. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Uh, listen to other people explaining how they learn new words in a foreign language and what techniques do they use? Well, uh, we will do first this and then the other. Okay. Now repeat after me. So, how's your so, French class going? How's, how's your, your French, French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. No, teacher, Not but fine. you uh, show the conversation for us. No. Yes, Only, I'm not no. sharing it. No, Sorry. teacher. It's difficult. <laughs> according, according to this, I am sharing it. No, no, it's less an objective. Uh, in this moment, right yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Now, so how's your French class going? How's, how's your French uh, class, 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 going? Going. class going? Not bad. No Not bad. bad. Not bad. But I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. But I'm, but finding, I'm finding, finding the pronunciation, the pronunciation difficult. difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. Well, well it, it takes, takes a, while a while to get, get it right. It right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. That's a good That's idea. A good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? But, but how, how do you learn, learn new, new vocabulary? vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I always, I always seem, seem to forget, forget new, new words. words. I learn new English words. I learn, I learn new, new English, English words. words. Best by writing them on pieces. Best, Best by, by writing, writing them, by writing them pieces. on pieces. On pieces of paper. On pieces, pieces of, of paper, paper and sticking them on things in my room. And, and sticking them, them on, on things, things in my room. my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. I look at them, look at them, at them every, every night, night before, before I go, I go to, to sleep. sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Mm, mm, maybe, maybe I should, I try, should try something, something like, like that. that. Okay, now volunteers. Two people, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Noemi. Who else? Me, Yolanda. Okay, Noemi and Yolanda. Noemi, you first and then Yolanda. Okay, so how's your French class going? Not bad, but I am finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language series. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by gripping them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, thank you. Other two volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Don Dagoberto and Angie. Don Dagoberto first. So, how are your French class going? No, Not bad. bad. 
Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no bad, but I am finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. Lo cambió, no cambió. Sí, I learned sí, new okay. English words best, best by writing them on pieces of paper and thinking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should I should try something like that. Okay, it's sticking, sticking. Okay. O sea, es, es, es pegar. Es sticking. pegar. O sea, pegar. Stick. Okay. Okay. Now, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. Me, too. Okay, go ahead. Who's first? So. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it take a while to get to get it right. You could improve your as accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seems to forget to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on piece of paper and sticking them on, on things in my room. Look at them every right before I go to sleep. Mm. Maybe I should try something like that. Okay, thank you. Every night. Every, every night. night. Yes. You you say every right. It's <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have other two volunteers? Or we continue? Es que en cada grupo siempre hay alguien que es tímido. O que tiene arruinada la computadora. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Now, lesson objective. In this class, you will listen to how people give some advice. You will see by plus gerund in context. Okay. Now, we have other listening here. Three point seven. Okay. Well, it takes a while to get it right. I learn new words in a foreign language. Then every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know, I put all the words together that have to do with food or work or home or school, whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two, I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. 
Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on a discuss. Okay. Well, uh, those are techniques to learn no vocabul new vocabulary. Um, things about uh, the language, okay? Have you ever tried any of them? ¿Alguna vez han probado alguna de ellas? Yo las he probado no. todas. <laughs> Yo las he probado todas. <laughs> es que, as, as I told you, the, the more eh, the more you practice, the more you learn. Okay, and since we have different ways to learn things, and actually I, I am a slow learner, so I need to develop different techniques in order to, to learn, okay? But the funny thing is that I am a slow learner and my brother is a genius and he failed Three subjects at the university. I never fail anyone. <laughs> and even I help him with his with his uh, drawing classes because he was studying for engineer and he didn't like drawing. And I, I am an artist. So I made all the drawings for him in order to, to pass the drawing classes. He owed me that title. <laughs> That's why he's, he's keeping me here in Panama with my children. Okay. Now, this is what we have left for yesterday's class. And we will continue with this one, which is the class for today. Okay. Remember, I always ask for a volunteer. Read it, please. Miss Yolanda. Okay, teacher. Oh, uh, I, I, sorry, sorry. Angie, Angie. Ah, sorry. Hand. Okay, Angie. Once you stop learning, you start dying. Okay. What do you think? I think it's true. Yes, because... it's completely true. Yeah, I remember. Because... I remember when my mother decided to to um, to get her pension, to retire. I told her, mother, you always have used your brain so much in your kind of work. Please don't go home and keep doing uh, routinary things because you, after you have been using your brain too much, then come and stop doing that, you could start uh, problems with Alzheimer. You know, I, 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 I like to study every, uh, many different things in life. And one of them is the brain. And I had this, I, I, that, that was my uh, uh, hypothesis. And my mother uh, 
did not follow my advice and now she is suffering for Alzheimer. And I mentioned that to people that knows also about uh, brain and they said that there are different studies and they never get that as a conclusion. But I said, well, most of the people that suffer from Alzheimer are people that go to retirement. Then they change their way of life. After they using the brain too much, then they stop using it. So remember, you don't use something, you may lose it. Okay. And that's why I, I insist that people that retire should do something else in order to always, to, to don't stop learning in order to keep using the brain. And in that way, they won't lose their, their ability. So you, you need, it, it, the, the brain is like a muscle. You need to exercise it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's an advice for the ones that want to go to retirement or the ones that already have people that retires, you may tell them is, I know that I'm not a scientist, but I am very good on figuring out things. Okay, now lesson objective. By the end of this section, participants will learn how to describe and how to do things using by plus gerund. Okay, here we have by plus gerund. We may use to say how something can be done, to say how something was done, or to describe how something could be done. Okay, can be done, was done, or could be done. Okay, do you understand the difference? Can be done is like in the future. You have not doing yet, but you can do it that way. Was done is something that it's already uh, done and you describe how you do it. And could be done is when something gets wrong and you say you should have done this by doing this. Okay, instead of what you have done, okay? Could be done. Podría haber sido hecho, okay? Now, we have here to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. Okay, now. I need volunteers to read the other ones. Who wants to read it? Sophia, okay, Sophia, Sophia Calderon, could you help us? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Number two, this one. I learn new words best by reading them of pieces of paper and sticking them up on things. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Jefferson Aldana. Jefferson Aldana. Sorry, teacher. Uh, okay. I have to read. The last one. Uh, okay. The best way to learn slang is not reading newspaper, but watching movies. Okay. It's not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Remember that is by plus gerund. Remember the gerund mm -hmm. is the same ing form or also we call it present perfect. 
Okay. Teacher, what it does it mean? Gerund is the same meaning. Gerund, a present perfect or ing form. All of them are the same. Is is the verb plus ing. Okay. Okay. No. A uh, uh, what does mean slang? Ah, slang is a uh, no grammatical English. Slang okay. English is like 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 our caliche. Uh -huh. exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's our caliche. I am forgetting caliche, you know. When I was a student, I used it more. And uh, for me, slang English is a real problem because I have learned only grammatical English. I remember one day I was in a Disney World with my family and I, we were doing a queue in order to get into the train. It was a long queue. And we have been there for hours waiting for to get into the train. And there comes a, a big guy with all his family and he gets right in front of us. And I say, sorry, mister, because he was very, very big. Sorry, mister, but we were doing the queue before you. And I won't let you take my place here. And he was like, he wanted to, to fight with me. And I remember that I was there with my brother and with my ex-husband. And both of them tell me, hey, take it easy, let him. And I say, no, why should I? No, 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 no way. He has not got because he 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 started to to use slang language with me and telling me bad words. I know it was bad words because I can look at his face. He 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 was not being nice. But mm -hmm. I said, well, you know, you know, man, I don't care what you are telling me because I don't know slang slang English. But one thing I can tell you, I won't let you take my place here and you go and start the queue. And then everybody around yeah. uh, uh, start to, to, to protect me also. And they made him go to make the queue with all his family. But I, I remember that that time I said, well, thank God I don't know bad words in English because I don't understand, I think what he was talking to me. <laughs> it's a good, a good thing that you don't know bad words in English because you don't know what other people is telling you. <laughs> well, my plus Jerome, okay? Here are, are uh, the ways, uh, what, what you are doing and an example. Okay. Now, uh, Miss Yolanda Cativo, please read uh, what you are doing and the example. Number uh, one. To say how something can be done. Mm -hmm. You can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Okay, thank you. Now, Angie. <clears throat> To describe how something was done, I learned a lot of idiom by watching TV. Okay, thank you. Now, Francisco mm -hmm. Ernesto. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. To describe how something could be done, one way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, here uh, in, the, in the discussion box, they ask you to share some advice to improve and get a better in English. One, 
one good way to uh, practice uh, English is to listen to English music and to try to sing it, okay? I recommend that because it's the best way when, because there you learn the rhythm and you learn how to pronounce the things. And it's the best way to learn English, but remember to choose um, music that you can understand because sometimes people listen to music that not even the singer knows what they are talking about. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the check, the knowledge check. No, let's check. Okay. Now, help me, okay? You can improve your accent. By watching American movies. And do you think it's that? I think so. I think by talking to native to native English. Yes, I think by by uh, talk by talking to native English speakers. Okay. Now, a good way to learn idioms is. A good way to learn idioms. by watching American movies. Mm -hmm. That could be. Okay. By talking to native English speaker. Pardon? By talking to native English speakers. And yes, maybe that. Uh, let's let's see if it works. If not, we will change. Okay. okay. Now, uh, students can become better writers. By, by writing, writing to writing English speaking, speaking pen pals. English. By writing to English speaking pen pals. A pen good pal. way to pen learn pen new pen vocabulary pen. is? A good way to learn new vocabulary is? Um, by studying a learner's dictionary. Okay. People can become faster readers. I guess this one. By reading, By reading magazines in English. Magazines. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, one way of practicing conversation is? By role playing with a partner. Yes, role playing with a partner, okay? You can learn to use grammar correctly by doing translation exercises. Okay. And the best way to develop self-confidence in speaking English is? By, pra by practicing in your English class. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay. This is not right and this is not right. Well, okay. I guess that by watching, by talking, this is by talking and this is by watching. Okay, let's check. Okay, now please, uh, each of you will read one of them. Okay, uh, number one. You can improve your ac accent by watching American movies. Okay, choose one of your partners to continue. Uh, Rafael. 
A good way to learn idioms is by talking to native English speakers. Native, native. Native. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now choose another, another classmate. Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Number number three. Yes. Students can become better writers by 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 writing to English speaking pen poles. Okay, thank you. Now we choose another one. Please choose another classmate. Hello. Uh, I can see the, no, the, the names, teacher. Ah, okay. Then who volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. A good way to learn new vocabulary is by studying a learner's dictionary. Okay, thank you very much. Choose another classmate, please. Noemi. Uh, number five, uh, people can become faster readers by reading magazines in English. Okay, thank you very much. Choose another one, please. Um, Dagoberto. Don Dago. One way of practicing conversation is by role playing with a partner. Okay, thank you very much. Choose another classmate, please. Rafael. Don Rafa. You can learn to use grammar correctly by doing trans translation exercise. Exercises. Exercises. Okay, thank you very much. Choose another volunteer, please. Rafa. Wait, um, Jefferson. Okay. You okay. read my yeah. mind. Uh, number eight, the best way to develop self-confidence is speaking English is by practicing in your English class. Okay, thank you very much. That's why I insist that everybody should talk, okay? Now we have a, a reading exercise, but I guess that is better here. Let me share it with you. Okay, can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay, learning styles. Remember that I told you that we learn in different ways? Then we have a reading about that. Learning styles. Have you ever had trouble learning something? Did you overcome the problem? How? Huh. Have you ever sat in class wondering if you would ever grasp the information that was being taught? Maybe the presentation didn't fit your learning style. Our minds and bodies gather information in different ways. And from, all our, uh, and from all around us, seeing, hearing, and doing, then our brains process that information, organizing it and making connections to things we already know. This process can also work in different ways. Do we think 
in pictures or words? Do we remember details or the big picture? When we're trying to learn, it helps to know how our brain works. How do we best gather and organize information? Different people have different learning styles. For example, one person might struggle with written information, but understand it immediately in an illustration. Another person might have problems with the picture, but not the written test. Psychologists have identified seven basic learning styles. Linguistic. These people learn by using language, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Logical. These people learn by applying formulas and scientific principles. Visual. These people learn by seeing what they are learning. Musical. Instead of finding music of finding music a distraction, these people learn well when information is presented through music. Kinesthetic, movement and physical activities help these people learn. Intrapersonal, these people learn best if they associate new information directly with their own experiences. Interpersonal, these people learn well by working with others. You will often encounter situations that do not match your strongest learning style. If you know what your strengths are, you can develop strategies to balance your weaknesses for a more successful learning experience. Okay, any questions about vocabulary? No. What does mean tout? Tout or tout? Tout. Tout. Eh, este es el pasado de enseñar, de teach. Ah, okay. Yes. Teach, yes. tout, tout. Yes, I remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And gather? Gather is obtener obtener mm -hmm. it's like when you gather is uh, when you have a meeting also you gather people with you okay mm -hmm. also you you gather from the when when you are taking crops you are gathering reunir <laughs> Reunir, ajá. What else? No. Okay. Then we finish the class for today. Now, we have uh, the, the 
we have the midterm exam. Okay, remember that you have to finish it by the by at the end of this week. So if you have it, if you already have done it, don't worry. If you haven't done it, you have to do it. Okay. Do you have five minutes more for me? Yes. Uh, I, I will pass the test here. I, I rewrite the test here in order to see if you have any doubts. Remember, right now, we are not going to tell the right answer because you, you have to try to do it yourself. But tomorrow, we will develop the exam. Please be here, okay? Now, uh, we have a listening and you have to, to listen to a conversation and check the correct answers, okay? And then uh, you have to tell what Clara tells Augusto according to the, the listening, okay? Then uh, you have to tell uh, what of Tina's complaints to her landlord, okay? You have to choose. And then we have another, another listening. And then you have to, to tell uh, what Bob recommends about the depleting of the ozone layer, okay? Then we have to say how is Sonia upset, okay? And then uh, Lynn is most, most interested in how, and you, you, you have to choose uh, among those three options according to the listening, okay? Um, Sally is going to take a course and you have to choose which of those courses she is going to take. Then in the second part, we have uh, to complete the sentences. This has two parts. In part one, you have to complete the sentences using the form of the word in brackets. Then in the first one, the word in bracket is a scratch. Then it has, uh, these glasses have a scratch on the lens. They are, you have to decide how you have to complete it, okay? Remember, if you don't remember how you have to make this, you have to get back to your classes and study again. Uh, remember that you have your classes in, in the platform, but you also have your classes in the PPT. Or well, everything that you have in the platform is in the PPTs I send you through WhatsApp. If you don't have the PPTs, ask for them in the WhatsApp. I will send it again, okay? Then uh, this is from the same exercise. And this is the part two. You have to complete uh, with the correct form of need and add any necessary words, okay? Those towels are so dirty. They need, verdad? You, you have to put need, and any other necessary words, okay? The same here. In part three, you have to complete the conversation with rather or prefer. Then here you have where you have to, to complete them. Then in part one of Letter C, you have to choose the correct word or phrase. 
Those are the words or phrase, jamming, replacing, adjusting, sticking, flickering, dropping, skipping, fixing, replacing. And you have to put it where they belong. We have uh, different conversations here, different sentences, and you have to complete them with any of these words. Then you have part two of letter C. And it also, it says, I'm very concerned about, and you have to say if it's famine, inflation, or political unrest. And it says, it's terrible that millions of people don't have enough food to eat, okay? According to what is her concern, you have to choose what is she talking about? No están viendo la, 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 dicen que no están viendo la escrita. No. Y según yo, sí se está viendo. A ver. Ya la riego yo. Gracias. ¿Y ahora sí se ve? Yeah. Right now, yes. okay. Disculpen, es que este Zoom algunas veces ni le avisa a uno cuando se desconecta. Ok. Then, we have this different uh, sentences that you have to complete. Ok. Then in part D, you have to, uh, to write the sentences. You have those, uh, you have an example. One way to help the poor is to donate clothing and food, okay? Then the best ways to avoid cancer are, you have to write them, but you, you can uh, take from these uh, sentences to complete these ones, okay? Then choose from the following options and write suitable information to complete the sentences. Use not plus by plus gerund. Write a short story. Don't stay home go out, don't take a class, go out to the clubs, avoid sugary, high fat foods. People make new friends, not by staying home, but by going out, okay? A good way to spend a rainy weekend is, then you have to choose from these ones. Then we have a reading, and this is the reading. From this reading, you have to answer some questions, okay? Now, if you have any doubts while you are doing your test, please feel free to ask through WhatsApp. And remember that tomorrow we will be developing the test all together, but it's best if you already have done your chair, okay? And just check if it's well or not, okay? See you tomorrow. Take Thank care. Thank you, good night. Bye-bye. Bye, see you tomorrow.